Hey guys, it's Becky from Bex and Books. I am here today with a book review of a book I had finished in August and is by far one of the books that I have actually enjoyed so much this year and it's definitely a must read for everybody. It's quite a thriller type um, true kind of story uh, or based on true events that are happening or can be happening or have happened. Um, it is an Australian book by an Australian author and that is Risk by Fleur Ferris. This read is quite a different book for a young adult read. Um, I did pick it up um, expecting to just love this book and I didn't what I didn't expect is for it to just absolutely blow me away. This is a debut novel for Fleur. Um, Ferris, I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. She's such an amazing woman. She's so down to earth and I've enjoyed chatting with her via Goodreads and Instagram. I just love how, like I say, down to earth she is and how much she um, just enjoys writing and bringing some facts to people's minds um, of what's going on with teenage girls these days and it is scary because it is so completely true um me obviously being a teenage girl once upon a time um it was something that I would probably have done back in my days but a little bit younger than 15 so I'll tell you guys a bit about this book it's something that um Mothers, fathers, older brothers and sisters, um, I would say aunties, uncles, grandparents, whatever. Anybody that is anybody that has children or that has children in their family, um, it is definitely something you guys need to read so that this is, can bring to light what is actually going on um, on the internet um, with your the children in your family, whether they be daughters or whether they be girls or whether they be boys, sexual predators is nothing to muck around with. And they are so completely smart that they can be untraceable and then they can draw these teenage girls in by simply making them feel wanted. So let me start by explaining what this book is about and we'll go a little bit in depth into it. So this book is about two friends, um, Taylor and Sierra. They've been best friends since they were babies in their mum's bellies. Their mothers are best friends and really close. Um, they've been through so much together where Taylor's father had passed away and Sierra's mum and her family were there for um, Taylor's mum and Taylor herself and have brought her up as one of their own. Now, Taylor and Sierra couldn't be more opposite, yet they are pretty much sisters. Um, Taylor is the quiet one who thinks she's just an ordinary girl and but always gets outshined by Sierra, who is the outgoing girl, who is quite gorgeous, um, that is super talented in everything she does. So, of course... She is one of the popular girls. They have a group of friends at a high school, but some of the people at the high school can't really stand her or idolise Sierra or whatnot. They sort of introduce the characters pretty well going into it. Um, so you get to know a bit about how they've grown up together, what their group of friends are like, what Taylor and Sierra are like in such a small book. Fleur did it quite great where you actually get to know these characters and go on this adventure or ride or go on this ride with them. So Sierra has been an outgoing girl that just meets up with random people or likes to stay the night with guys already because she is sexually active. They're all 15 in this book um, and that pretty much is what most 15 year olds do these days. And she likes to lie, Sierra does, about where she's staying the night. So she involves her friends in these lies. So her mum thinks she's staying at um, a friend's house, whereas she's not. She's actually just used that as a cover 
but said, oh, but I'll come back that night. I'm just going to go see this guy until this time and then I'll come back to your house. And she hasn't come back and has resorted to a girl named Riley who she brought into this lie to dislike her quite a lot. Um, I think Riley is more closer to Taylor and realises that Taylor is starting to get fed up with the being outshined I guess or feeling unloved because she's just out there and she gets everything she wants whereas Taylor doesn't because she doesn't like to speak up or be a nasty person or try to bring her best friend down no matter how she feels about it but Riley has been trying to get her to open up about that so Sierra, because of a few incidents that's happened, she has been banned from the internet and technology. So, which of course at 15, that kills people because it's the internet. People don't know how to play outside or do things or be a 15 year old that we used to be back in the days. Um, so, she likes to go over to Taylor's house just to use her laptop and her internet and stuff secretly. So, so Taylor doesn't mind, um, I guess. So she's just used to it, I guess. So Sierra has gone on this online chat thing where you can meet random people and she started talking with this guy and has given Taylor's name and Taylor's email address and whatnot. And Taylor didn't really like that. Um, so that's where it all begins. Now, Taylor sort of realized that this person was emailing her when Sierra had gone home. And that's when she realized she gave my email address and she was just, she just turned around to the guy and said, look, you were talking to my friend Sierra. I am not interested in showing you any bits of my body, blah, 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 because that's what they used to most guys saying, hey, show us your boobs or whatever. And she just said it like that and expected it to just end. But this guy turned around and he goes, I kind of knew that it's two different people I'm talking to because Sierra seems to be completely different. And then she, he just like made her feel wanted and loved and complimented her when she sent a picture of herself and he sent a picture of himself which was blurred um and this is how smart they can be they can truly make a woman or a girl feel loved and wanted and I know when I was that age or younger any guy that would tell me that I was beautiful or that I was like super skinny or whatnot like that or hard or I reminded them of like this pop star or something like that. That that made me swoon. I fell in love with the guy because nobody knows what love is. That's what we all think and this is what we all want to hear. And this is what this guy has done and she's fallen for this guy and they were chatting all weekend and then she goes on to school on Monday expecting to surprise Sierra with this whole, guess what, that guy you know, message me and, oh, I'm in love with him and blah, blah, blah. And Taylor better to the punch. She said, I snuck my sister's computer out of her room. I snuck my sister's laptop out of her room. And guess what? I've been chatting to this guy. And of course, Taylor refused to tell her that uh, well, I was too. She feels ashamed. She feels played. She feels ugly now. She feels ordinary. And of course, oh, this guy is going to go for her because she's so much hotter. Um, but she had told Riley and Riley knew what she was going through. So she feels quite down on herself and she wanted to start exercising and eating right because she wanted to look hotter and all that kind of stuff that teenage girls go through. So all during the school week because... Sierra has decided to meet up with this guy on Friday um, who is older than her and she pretended she was older than what she was. Um, so that's all they got to hear from the, during the whole school week back. And they were all getting a bit annoyed by it. That's when Taylor started really disliking Sierra for everything that she's done and constantly being in the shadow and her not caring about people because now she's bringing her into this life saying I'm staying at your house all weekend don't worry my mum 
will not know because she's too occupied with something else. So I guess it's a cry for attention. That's when you find out that it's a cry. It's a cry for help. Um, parents that want to have children have the children, but be there for them. Talk to them. Don't just ignore them. They're not there just because that's how you feel like the world works. They're there because you need to nurture them still, no matter what age they are. If you have a weekend, use that for your kids because these are the sorts of things kids do for attention. So Taylor refused to go with Sierra on that day to just hang out at the mall while she met up with this guy because she refuses to see the guy because she still feels ashamed in believing this guy wanted her. So she was quite heartbroken about it all so she's like no you just go yourself i'm just gonna hang out with riley and our group of friends while you go do that and then you just come to my house when you're done so that was meant to be the plan so they're having a pool party um in a way they're having pizza for because they still haven't heard from sierra yet and then sierra gives them a call she's like having the time of her life she goes oh this guy is older but that's okay because i lied about my age too and we're in love and I'm going to stay the night with him. Just like that. Just because. And that's quite scary. Like, she's 15. She's going to stay the night with this, like, 20-something-year-old. I forgot how old he is. But he's 20-something. So, they're like, well, alright, geez. So, you're going to come by tomorrow morning then, I guess, and pretend you've been here all night. So, that's pushing Taylor further into this lie. And Riley's like... See, she did that to me before. Told you this is going to happen. <clears throat> so Taylor's kind of like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Because she's used to being walked all over, I guess. And she had to kind of feel guilty, but then angry. And then she was just frustrated. And she's going through all these emotions that girls normally do at that age. Um, very hormonal, I guess. And the next day, the Saturday, she doesn't come back. She's not back. And they're like, see, we knew this was going to happen. And then one of the guys from the group's like, no, I'm getting a strange feeling about this. But everyone else is just like, come on, it's Sierra. It's like the girl who cried wolf or the boy who cried wolf. It's just like that, though. They, some of the people are like, no, nah, I think something dodgy is going on. And other people are like, it's Sierra. It's it's what she does. She's probably having so much fun. Didn't charge her phone, etc., etc. So it's it's a weekend of kind of torment. But then you get to see that Taylor's starting to hate her best friend, and you know, like everybody's just half half deciding what's going on. Should they tell the parents? But you know. They don't, and then Sunday comes around, still no sign, can't get through to Sierra. So that's when Taylor's starting to think, should I, shouldn't I, what's going on? Maybe she's just going to appear out of nowhere. And Callum, one of the guys, is like, no, you really should, but she doesn't think she should. And then that's when Sierra's mum rings and says, hey, is she there? And she's like, Oh, uh, no, she hasn't been here all weekend. And she's thinking, oh, God, where is she? You know, sort of thing. And that's when she ends up ringing her friend straight away saying, oh, my God, like, Sierra's mum just rang and I just straight out lied to her. You know, someone that's been a family friend of hers and took her in when her mum was going through a lot, she lied to her. And then that's when it's like, no, I think you should say something. And that's when it all became so real. So they said something to Taylor's mum, which Taylor was like, no, we need to go to Sierra's place straight away. We need to ring the cops. And when all the cops and stuff started coming over and taking all their um, internet possessions and starting to question them all about this stuff, um, that's when they realised how completely real the shit has just gotten. Um... And so kids these days, it shows that they are absolutely oblivious to the dangers of internet predators um, and they learned a bit more about how internet predators can use some kind of proxy box to sort of 
be untraceable. They are quite smart like that, unfortunately. And how they woven that picture and meshed two different pictures together of an actual guy and a artist guy's painting and meshed them together to create the picture that he had sent to both these girls. So that made him ever more untraceable. So the emotions that run high through this book are so, like, I absolutely thought I was there when they were searching for her, um, the emotions of Sierra's mother who started blaming Taylor, saying, why would you lie if you had told us on, like, the Friday, Saturday, when she didn't come back, we would have found her sooner, you know, this could have, it could have been anything that, you know, was she, is she, wasn't she alive? So many emotions and so much realness. And Fleur Ferris is actually a ex-policewoman as well as a paramedic. So she's definitely um, experienced those cases before. Um, so that's what makes this book so completely amazing. Also because she, ha she has witnessed these cases from behind the scenes to how the parents were feeling, what these people were feeling, why these cases could possibly happen, what these teenage girls are thinking, that kind of stuff. And that's why this book is definitely a must read because it's not only a story, it's, it is like practically a non-fiction almost, if you really want to put it that way. I believe that it's not going to take too much time to read this book because it is only like 270 odd pages um, and just I've learned so much about this and I wish there was like this book sort of thing when I was younger because when I turned around and told my mom, hey, I used to do things like this all the time on this website where you play games and you talk to people and they're like ASL, like age, what's your gender? And where you live and I used to do that all the time I used to be so excited and I'd be talking to these 20 something and I would be 13 14 years old and mum sort of like looked at me like what when like I would say like yeah we met up with all these people like she had no idea and I thank the Lord that I didn't meet up with too too many people I sort of backed off and I'm glad that none of my friends got taken by these sorts of people so but it could have it's so scary because it could have happened and it could have it could have been me it could have been them it could be anybody and that's what people and that's what makes it so completely scary is because these things can actually happen and you do not even realize so I think that this book here is a book that needs to be more recognized um, not as just a young adult fiction book it needs to be recognized as something that is true now I could go on talking about this book for like ever and constantly tell you guys what's happened in this book and whatnot but I would like you guys yourselves to pick up this book and read it for yourselves. I want you guys to experience this yourselves um, about what ended up happening to Sierra, what happened to the group of friends, what happened to the emotional um, parents in the background and what the other parents were thinking with their children holding on tighter to them because they um, witnessed this happening. Um, Things like that. I want you guys to go into this not being spoiled um, because I want you to feel the rush that I felt reading this book. I'm not going to tell you whether they found her or not, whether um, they found the predator or not. I'm not going to tell you what everybody went through. All I can say was it was an emotional ride. Um, so many ups and downs, so many positives, so many negatives. Um, in terms of not negative reviews or anything, but in terms of negative um, negative things happening, obviously her being like disappearing. So that's a negative. Um, 
so I mean I'm not I mean I'm not being obviously paid to talk about this book and promote it or anything like that but I would do this absolutely free of charge anyways um not because you know um I've been talking to Fleur a lot but because this book symbolizes so much and it needs to be put out there um and be recognized worldwide because these types of books there has not been many of this realness and a lot of people would look at non-fiction books and be like read the blurb and not really be into it and that's why this book is so much more better because people will pick it up and be like oh this is oh this is a young adult how thrilling is this and then you read it and then you're like whoa that just so much information overload and I am completely grateful that I did read this book. I've been telling everybody about it, especially those that are parents, um, and telling them a bit about this book, and I'm hoping more people pick this up. I will send you this book free of charge if I have to get you to read it. Um, I'm just kidding. But I bought this book myself. I just bought it from Big W, I believe, in Australia. But I'm sure you can buy this online, especially if you're overseas. Definitely worth a read. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably get it as an ebook as well. I haven't totally checked that one out. So even though I'm in like a reading slump at the moment, um, I would definitely pick this book up again in a heartbeat. It's it's one of those ones that are going to forever stay with me. And um, I'm very glad that I learned this sort of stuff so I can learn from it and hope that other people out there can learn from it too. I know it's hard with teenagers because they are not going to believe you. They'll think you're overprotective. But you do need to see what your teenagers are about any teenagers out there that do watch this video please please be weary of what you're doing on the internet who you're talking to because they may not be who they are and this could turn into a criminal minds episode rather than a oh my god i'm in love with this guy and i'm meeting up with him he could be the dream guy please please be weary if you've ever unsure please tell your parents it's not worth your life it's not worth who you are as a person and it's not worth friendships because it's a it's a risk it is a risk it really is so I really hope people have learned something from my review today and not just pick up this book because it was fantastic, but pick up this book because you will learn so much about it. And I recommend it to everybody out there. Um, if internet dating or anything is something that you guys do, I want you guys to be extremely cautious about what you do because it is so surreal and people these days just don't, they just don't really care what they're doing to other people's lives they just care about themselves in terms of the sexual predator side of things they don't they're, they're not well they're quite sick so i hope you guys enjoyed this review please give it a thumbs up please try to share um more of this knowledge to your friends um just because it is something like i said that needs to be made more aware of not just the internet bullying cyber bullying but sexual predators are such a main thing these days so please try to share this information with people um your friends your neighbors your your parents um if you're concerned about a friend of yours it isn't worth nothing like if this person doesn't want to be friends with you no more because you've ratted them out because they're talking to someone online at least you can rest easy knowing that you may have saved a life so that is all from me today wow it got completely serious um i've got the trady guy outside looking at me thinking why is she talking to herself but hey i got my camera on my tripod um so that is all for me today 
um, please comment down below if you have read this book or um, if you have any recommendations relating to this book, um, anything like that. I will also link down below my Twitter and Instagram account. So if you guys ever need to talk about something, etc., please follow me or even just message me. I'm not on private. Just to let me know if you have any concerns or anything like that. I am here for you guys. It sounds a bit corny, I know, but I cannot stress this enough about how um, important this subject is. So that is all for me today. Um, I will see you guys in my next video and um, I hope you guys have a safe, enjoyable weekend.